In the previous video, we spoke briefly about event listeners. So in this tutorial video, we're going to be seeing precisely what a listener or event listener is in Java. So a listener is called when the user does something to the user interface that causes an event. Although these events usually come from the user interface, they can also have other sources, for example, a timer. So there are two um, important rules you have to understand about listeners. There is no way to use any given method as a listener. <clears throat> the listener must be called action performed. That's obligatory. The second rule is you can only have one listener per class because there can only be one action performed method in a class. A new class is needed for every separate listener. <clears throat> so as you can see in this diagram, this example, we're representing what a um, an event listener or listener does. So as you can see we have a button here called click me and what we're going to be doing is adding a listener to that button. Then when the button is clicked a call is made to the action performed method uh, defined in the class of the listener object. So in other words when we click on the button we want to um, perform uh, an action. So uh, the possibilities are limitless. I don't know. You can, when you click on the button, you can open a new window or change uh, the text of an object or a component. As I said, the uh, possibilities are limitless. So that's the theory behind uh, a listener. <clears throat> In the next step, we're going to see how to perform or how to add a simple uh, action to a um, button in our custom inter customized interface that we've created. Uh, in the previous chapter. So meet me in the next. So in this step, we're going to see how to add um, a listener to our login button here. So basically, we want to uh, create a simple action. When we click on the uh, login button, we want to uh, change the text uh, that's written on this button. So change login to something else. So in order to do that, <coughs> let's go to our code here. We're in our login panel, remember, because all of our components are in the login panel. So as you can see, our login panel extends gpanel, and it also now has to implement action listener. Okay. Uh, obviously, you have to import the action listener class. So let's do that automatically. Okay. And then <clears throat> let's scroll down to our button, which is, if you recall, in the um, get button panel here. So our button is created here. So just after our button is created, we want to add our listener So to that button. So login button dot add action listener and then this because we're working inside okay now what we're going to do that we now that we've added our listener we're going to create an action performed uh, method in order to uh, perform an action on uh, the button so go here and let's create our action perform method so public void action performed remember it's obligatory to name it like this and then uh, action event and let's call it e for example it doesn't really matter okay <clears throat> again you're going to have to import the action event class so let's do that automatically okay and then basically we're going to type uh, the code for our action. So in this case, as I said, we want to change the text of our login button. So simply type um, the name of our button. So login button dot set text. And then uh, let's type, um, I don't know, you have clicked on the button, for example. <coughs> Okay, so that's our action perform method that's been done. Uh, let's test this. Right. So you can see we have our button login. If we click on the button, you have clicked on the button. 
So that's how you use a, a listener in Java.